Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Neek, and you're tuned in to Neek at Night. And tonight, I'm going to be bringing you guys a story of this gentleman or this guy, gentleman, whatever you want to label him, um, who got these two twin sisters pregnant. I was able to catch on to the story right before it like really, really took off and really like went viral as of late. And I was able to like capture his very first Instagram page. Um, you know what I'm saying? When he first posted it up and people were just catching wind. And this was like, I want to say like two weeks ago, um, he posted up a post and this was, uh, this Instagram has now since been deleted by Instagram. I don't know if people like reported him for spam or what happened, but his Instagram has now been deleted this one. So he posted up a post and it said, F the fame, you see a nigga happy or whatever. And it's two twin sisters one on the left that you can visibly see is pregnant and then the one on the right. And then he also posted up another post where it says, um, I bet I'm the only nigga with, I bet I'm the only nigga y'all know with twin baby mamas and both cool with it. Hashtag goat, I need a show or whatever. And with this post, you see one twin on the left and then the, the other twin on the right. And he's bragging about them both being pregnant. He then posted up um, two other photos in this slide. And it says, um, or, or not it says, it shows a photo of them both kissing him. Then there's another photo at the end where it shows both of the sisters together. There was a lot of people who, when they seen this, they was like, ew, you got two sisters pregnant, like, and they're cool with it. Like, what's going on? You know, like, what's the tea? Like, how did that happen? And I've been, like, trying to, like, follow this story. I tried to, like, you know, hunt him down to get an interview. Um, I wrote him on that original page. And right when he responded, um, you know, like, he was like, I, I responded. I told him, like, I did YouTube and I was trying to, like, interview him and things like that. He responded back to me and then like shortly after that his page kind of like got deleted so then i went on the hunt i'm like okay i want to get the tea because this is interesting like what's going on you know what i'm saying um what is this <laughs> i got a string hanging from my shirt but anyways so i'm like what's the tea like i i, I need to get up in on this or whatever like i want to see what's going on and bring this to my audience because you know social media was kind of like they was like catching wind and uh, like people in the comments was like feeling away, but it hadn't really took off yet. So before like it really like went viral, viral, like I wanted to get to him before it got to that point or whatever. And so um, I got led to Facebook because people were like, hey, you know, they're on Facebook and one of the baby mamas is going off. Like she's venting because she feels like he's exploiting her and she's not happy with the situation. And she posted up these posts. So then I'm like, okay, let me go to Facebook and I'm going to share with you guys the post, the, the post, the post that I uncovered um, on Facebook. So this is one of the baby mamas who posted and she posted in this like mommy and me group, but this is her actual um, Facebook uh, page, but like she deactivates it and reactivates it. Like whenever like more people like start coming at them and like talking mess to them, like, you know, she'll deactivate it and reactivate it. But you know, I was able to catch it when it was reactivated and then there's videos and there's photos that this is her page that like it, it's been her page since way before it went viral. So she posted up this post and it says, I need someone to vent to. I'm so stressed out. My BD posted some stupid pics airing our business out for some stupid ish. So I'm nine months pregnant, due any day, was supposed to deliver three days ago. So I just found out April 1st that while him and his other BM were dating, he got my twin sister pregnant as well and that she is due a month after me. I don't want to put her in a bad light because she already losing friends and family. And it could um, it could be really depressing for her when I found out it hurt me a lot. Can't even be excited to be an aunt. But she wants to give the baby up so we can have a normal life. But he wants to keep the baby. But me and her feel like he ruined that chance when he want to make it seem like we in a polygamy relationship. I would never F on the same end as my sister. Just gross. Not to mention, I got to worry about, hold up. Not to mention, I got to worry about, uh, wait, where was I at? Oh, okay. I got to worry about DCFS because of him. It's indirect 
wait, it's indirectly his fault. He seemed more concerned about being famous. I got arrested on Friday because he want to bring his friends over to our motel room. We were staying at because his friend was um, effing a, a hoe that he found off of the blade. And she want to lie and say me and my sister imprisoned her and wouldn't let her leave. What the heck do I look like stopping a grown A woman from leaving? I didn't even want her to stay in the room, didn't even know the girl, lying because she don't want to get her pimp in trouble for putting her in the hospital, coming back from um, going shopping with my daughter, and getting ready to go to the movies, and when we was about to leave, got arrested by a whole bunch of police that was waiting outside. I'm just stressed out, y'all. So this is the long post that she posted and this was in like this mommy and me type of like group or whatever. And then she also followed it up with a post on her Instagram, her actual Facebook. And it said, had to share my whole life. Don't want to spend the rest of my life doing that. I really just want to take my own family, like for real, for real, my own. And then, um, you know, that is her like ranting about the situation. So then, um, hold up, hold up, hold up. So then after that, I was like led to his Facebook or whatever. So I'm like, so I wrote her and I'm like, hey, you know, I want to do an interview if you could do an interview or whatever. And then I even hit him up and I'm like, hey, you know, I want to do an interview with you. Um, you know, I have an Instagram because I had wrote him on IG, but now I had went on over to Facebook and I had wrote him on Facebook. So when I had wrote him on Facebook, he was telling me that, you know, interviews is going to cost um, $2,000 or something. And I'm like, boy, so this is me talking to him because he has he has two Instagram pages. And like, I don't know if he deactivates, reactivates, they shutting it down. I don't know what's going on. But both of them, both of the Instagram pages have um you know post from way before he went viral and it has videos on both of them so i think like one got um one got deactivated or or reported for spam or whatever but this is me writing him on facebook and i'm like you know i want to uh, do an interview and speak about your situation with the twins um it will get your numbers on ig back up you know because he had posted something like that he was trying to get his numbers up or whatever and so, um, and plus, you know what I'm saying? I wanted the story, you know what I'm saying? Help you help me, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, so then he wrote me back and he was like, it's 2000 per interview right now. And then, so I responded back and I'm like, a big network like BET, I understand, that, but that price is way out. Like, come on now, bro. That price is way out. You know what I'm saying? But I understand, like, you know what I'm saying? You got to, hey, you got to put a price tag on your story. You got to put a, a value on your worth or whatever, but for me, I'm like, okay, that's just a little bit much. You know what I'm saying? That's just a little bit much. So then, um, you know, saying I let it marinate. I'm like, whatever. So then the next day, um, you know, I'm like, man, let me let me try to call this boy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, let me try to call him um, through this Facebook uh, messenger because I'm like, I want I, I want to get the interview or whatever, but $2,000, come on, like, bro, like, let's work something out, like, not no two, not no, you know, nothing like that, but I'm just saying, like, as far as, like, you know what I'm saying, you get exposure, you get your numbers up, you know what I'm saying, I'm able to do the interview, you know what I'm saying, like that, so I hit him up on um, Facebook, um, the messenger or whatever, and so I was just, like, you know, talking to him, or whatever, and trying to like, you know, like, listen, like, let's, let's do this interview, or whatever, he answered, and I, I was talking to him, and then, so he was like, all right, cool, you know, um, that he would, he would do it, you know what I'm saying, he was like, all right, we, um, we about to go to, like, the doctor's appointment, or whatever, and when we leave from, uh, the doctor's appointment, like, I'll hit you up, and we could do the interview, so in the midst of me like talking to him and arranging for us to do like the interview, he had this clip of an interview that he had already done. It had like started to like pick up a lot of traction. So I think it's a guy by the name of Money Shot Chris or something. And um, he had posted up this, this clip of him talking about, you know, he got twin baby mamas and he had done this interview. And so... 
that same day, like, like a little bit after, like I had arranged to like, you know, talk to him and interview with him. Then the shade room had also reposted that post. So I'm like, he like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's probably going to be impossible to get an interview at this point because you know what I'm saying? I'm sure it's like crazy amount of people now hitting him up and things like that. So I'm going to show you guys the post of him talking about, you know, the twin baby mamas and it's him and his baby mamas together. Um, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever. So let me show you guys that. He even got a whole rap about it. I was like, this boy is not playing. Um, I got twin baby mamas to keep it real. And, uh, you know, everyone kind of wants to know a little bit about that. I uh, posted a picture on Instagram, kind of went viral. Uh, everyone wants to know about our, my environment, how it happened, when, what, when, where, and why. Okay. And so um, right here, even in this small clip, so... Remember, I was reading to you guys the post about um, from Nydia, and Nydia is the one with the yellow. It's Nydia with the yellow, and then the red is Nia. So Nydia, from my understanding, um, from like the investigation that I've been doing and like trying to find out like what's going on, she was dating him first. So she was dating him. They was in a relationship. I believe she got pregnant by him, or or something like that. And, um, well, yeah, she had, she had already, she already has a baby before now. She had already had a baby before now. So then the sister, Nia, she started hanging out with them. So she started hanging out with them and she went behind her sister's back and she, you know, also got pregnant by him as well. So now I feel like they are at a point where, I, where you're my twin sister. Like, I'm not gonna... You know what I'm saying? Like, be your enemy or whatever. So she, um, on the appearance, it's like, okay, we're cool with it. And, you know, they even have videos together, like, in, like, motels or whatever, where, like, they're, they're in the bed together and things like that. I might show you guys a little clip of those videos. But in here, what she says next, um, they, it's a very short clip. But what she says next, she says how she felt betrayed by her sister, which is Nia, because she started hanging around them and went kind of went behind her back and, you know, got pregnant by him. So I'm going to play that. But I just wanted to explain that because you might miss it because it's, it's fast. Basically. Two comments, thing mean it. Got twin baby mama. To be honest, I don't need you this time. What's up, guys? This is Money Shot Chris. I'm here in South Bay Villas in Athens Park. I'll find a little bit more out about the situation. <laughs> I'm Nia. I'm Keon, uh, aka Takeoff. And I'm Nidea. I feel like this happened because we've known each other for so many years, and once my sister just started hanging out with us, she just it just clicked. I feel like it happened. Why it happened is because uh, of destiny to a certain point. You know what I mean? Did you feel bad at all? Did you your sister? Yeah. How do you feel about it? Betrayed. Did you guys get over that? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so um, if you hear, they ask and they're like, you know, did you feel bad because it was your sister? And the reason why they asked that is because it was her boyfriend first and their situation and she kind of went behind, you know, the sister's back and got pregnant by him. And then you see Nidea or Nidia, I was saying Nidia, but I guess it's pronounced Nidea. She says she felt betrayed because her sister went behind her back but they're over it at this point and it's out there or whatever. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit more and I want to know what you guys think about it. What do you think about them being together and them being twins? And now like what I guess was kind of like a betrayal, now a situation where they're all, you know, copacetic. There was a lot of people who knew them from, you know what I'm saying, from being in LA, because they're from LA. And so there's a lot of people who knew them from seeing them around LA and things like that, where they was like, that's the twins that I guess they used to hold up a sign saying like their mom was dying or something like that. And that they, or their grandmother was dying or something like that. And that they was trying to get change. And I guess they had been doing it for the last three years you know, the same people with the same sign. So I'm going to show y'all some of that because um, IG was going in, um, Facebook was going in, people who knew them personally, they had stuff to say. Like, it was a lot. So I'm just um, trying to show y'all some of the stuff. So, um, so this is one of the posts right here 
where somebody was like, these are the ones that was asking for money on Crenshaw. They look a little off. And then another person below, they said, those girls be on Crenshaw and Century begging for money with signs for burying their grandmother for the past three years. Um, and then um, people like even extended the roast on Facebook where, you know, somebody was like, you broke as F, you're going to get your clout for a good week or so. Then reality going to hit when your ass still pay paying for a dirty motel room night to night. And then I don't know if this is somebody that he really knew or not, but um, he replied to them. And then he was like, like I F'd your mama and your auntie. I was bracking back in the day, you know, and it appears that, you know, they are. I don't know if they're still living in a motel, but Nidea's post was right when this started to first like really go viral. And she talked about them being in a motel. And then on one of their pages, they have video of them actually in a motel. So I'm going to show you guys that video um, as well. So this is them, um, you know, I guess it was like a present for his birthday where, you know, he, I think the caption says something like they made it rain on my birthday or something like that. And then you see one of the twins enter in to the room. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to show y'all, uh, this video. Hold up. So you see that's one of the twins right there and you can see this is a motel room this is this is not a house like this is a this is the way a motel room looks and this is something that he posted like I guess it was his birthday and they had like made it rain for him or whatever and then you see um, you know her walk in and you can see that that's you know a hotel or whatever so I don't know if that's still their situation but as of, I, I believe this, not, not, not that long ago, you know, but hey, I get your coins. I can't pay the 2K, but get your coins by any means, but I'm going to still share the story and talk about what I found. So in addition to that, they had, um, they had this video also on um, uh, this, I believe this is his. This was because I was going to be because, like I said, it was two Facebook pages and then Nidea had her Facebook page. So he had this Facebook page and then there was another Facebook page, the one that I had wrote. But both of them had, um, you know, him and I actually talked to him physically on the other Facebook page. So both of these were his pages or whatever. So I'm going to show you guys this video right here where it shows, um, you know, they were in the bed together. Wait, this part shows a baby. Hold up. Let me move it to where you can't see the baby. Wait, I think all of this, you can see the, okay, never mind. I don't want to show, I don't want to show the baby, but um, they, in this video, the only thing like, I don't really judge people's lifestyles. Like, I don't judge people's lifestyles because we live in a world where, you know, what, hey, what works for you in a relationship may not work for the next person. And what works for that person may not work for you. And we live in a world where people are into different things and polygamy and, and all kind of things like that. Only thing when I was watching this video, it was like, you know, like one of the sisters was like naked, like at one point, like her boob came out. And um, the other sister, she had a, her shirt on. But then the baby, which I believe is Nidea's daughter and his daughter together, um, I think, because the baby looks just like him. And then it's, I believe it's her baby because it's the same baby that it looks like on her other um, Facebook page. Only thing I was like, I, I ain't judging y'all lifestyle like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Going in on y'all. Y'all got to raise the kids. Y'all got to live with it. Y'all got to be with it. Only thing I was just like, the baby is witnessing all of that. You know what I'm saying? The baby is witnessing it. And, you know, they're talking. They're talking nasty about what they're going to do and things like that. And then at one point, the baby, like, you know, she starts to try to, like, suck on his nipple or something. It was just, I was like, whoa, this is this is kind of, you know, a bit much as far as, like, involving the baby in that kind of mix. But, hey, to each his own. Um, I don't, let me see if there's a part of this where... Cause I don't want to show the baby's face. Okay, okay. So there was the I don't I don't want to show the baby's face. So I'm not gonna play this video. But um, 
you know, as you can see, even one of the comments, they was like, so why would the baby, you know, suck on your nipple on live? Like, what are you doing in front of the baby? Because this video right here, I was like, I ain't judging you being with two twins. But I was like, the baby, like, it was a bit much. But anyways, I'm going I'm to continue to bring y'all in on what I uncovered. What else did I uncover about this? Because I wanted to bring it all to y'all or whatever as much as I could find. Um, oh, there was another IG. There was another Facebook. So the sister, Nydea, she had, she talked, I think she had like three different Facebook pages. I don't know why they have all these Facebook pages, but it's them because they have actual videos where they went live um, way before all of this stuff went viral and it's like her and a doctor's appointment. And then she's like talking about how she has three different Facebook pages and um, this was her Facebook page. Like she had even cussed him out back in the day. So it's kind of like a toxic situation, I want to say a little bit. But um, I'm going to show you that to y'all, um, what I uncovered from their Facebooks. Um, and then I'm going to call it a day with this story. Okay, so um, one of the people, like when they were going back and forth and they were kind of like cussing him out, they was like, you stole money from your baby. You're, you're low life. You're this and that. Because like, Cause he was like being like glorified, like, oh, I got twin baby mamas, this the shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm the shit. And then there was people who was calling him out, like, oh, you know what I'm saying, who actually knew him. And they was like, You're a low life, you stole money from your baby, like da 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 da. Like, what about when um I, an idea or or whatever, she posted this uh post or whatever, and they were showing this post. So then it led me to her other Facebook. I was just like, I was like getting all like every which away, like what is going on, you know? So let me see. Um, wait, where did it go? Oh, here it go. Okay, so this is the twin. This is the uh the night idea or whatever. And so this is a post that she posted. And, um, this is to, uh, their baby, their joint baby daddy. This was back in July of uh, 2018. It says, Keon, a weird, a loser, stealing money from your own daughter. I don't give a F. You're a coward. Um, you know, you see my, my messages. Give me my damn money. I never gave it to you. And I already, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait. And I already filed a stolen claim, you dumbass, I STG, but they want me to do a police report, so you have the rest of the day today to drop off my money, and I already told your homies what your weird A did, like, you weird as fuck, they at least want to lift a finger to help your daughter, you little A boy, and you can keep blocking me, I'm gonna keep tagging and texting until you give me my damn money, because I really don't want to make a police report, and give them your address. But at the end of the day, my daughter come first. And I'm tired of you disrespecting us. I would um, even be okay with half. But you selfish as F. Stealing all my damn money. How are you supposed to be a good father if you steal from one of your children? You're supposed to be different. Shaking my head. Don't treat uh, Leela any different. Like you said, being a bad A father at this point. I'm going to keep posting and tagging. Dude, any Facebook I get hands on, so you better uh, drop the call. And then, um, so that was like one of the posts that she made public. Like, you know, like she was like, you know, I need you to know this or whatever. Like, you got me messed up. And this is, you know, verification. This is her and her twin. Um, this is her actual page as well. Because like I said, this is her like in a doctor's office. You going live again? Mm -hmm. And oh you see God, both of the twins. My face looks ugly. You guys this are just alike. Well, <laughs> she got makeup on. Yeah, me. Okay. So that's her in the doctor's appointment. I don't want to play the whole video or whatever, but that's her in the doctor's appointment. And you just seen like both of, wait, was my face covering her? I'm not sure. Hold up. Let me bring it back. You guys this are just alike. <laughs> well, she got makeup on. Yeah, hand me my earrings like I said. But that's her. Um, but yeah, so you let me know what you think. I know I'm kind of all over the place. I was trying to be more um, 
structured and showing you guys and bringing up what's going on um, and bringing a tea. Um, I also, uh, well, no, I'm not going to share that. Anyways, but yeah, so I'm, I, I just wanted to know what y'all think and bring y'all the full complete story on what I uncovered um, based on what I was able to find on social media. Um, I wanted to hear directly from him. Um, I, I also searched on YouTube the Money Shot Chris guy on IG who put up that trailer. I was like, um, I searched on YouTube to try to see if they he had dropped like the full interview, but um, I, I couldn't find like a Money Shot Chris um, YouTube page. So when I went back to his Instagram page, it looks like he's a film a film director and he does film and he works in film. So. I don't know if, uh, I don't know where it's going to be released, but hey, when it releases, I'm going to be tuned in and I'll probably do another updated video based on what I see there because I wasn't able to talk to him for longer than, I guess, a minute of me trying to arrange it. And then, you know, he went viral even more from social, uh, Shade Room and all them posting him and things like that. But what do you guys think? What do you guys think about this story? What do you guys think uh, about this? Let's talk about it in the comments. All right, guys, that's all for this video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. I will try to bring you guys little unique stories like this or little unique things that I see on the internet. Um, but hopefully I'm able to, you know, get the interview to go along with it so, like, it matches. You know, because if I would have did an interview with him, I would have been like, okay, so she posted this. So what's, what's, what's going on with this? Okay, well, on this day she posted that. Like, I would have asked him about all of the things that I showed you guys here, but I wasn't able to, you know, he didn't get back to me after we did the FaceTime or whatever, because like I said, Shade Room had then posted it, and then so many people have posted it, and it had like got like way more coverage, so um, I wasn't able to act, to talk to him and get the actual questions, like, oh, like, what's up with this motel, like, what's up with this, what's up with the sign thing, like, you know what I'm saying, I would have got down to it, I would even try to give him advice, like, instead of, you know, doing all of these interviews, hey, like, set you up a YouTube channel and get your YouTube coin and get you a YouTube check, because people gonna tune in because it's a different dynamic than people are used to, but, um, that's all for this video, stay tuned for more videos, um, again, if you like the video, hit like, if you did not like it, hit dislike, just let me know that you came, bye, turn on the notification bells, and hit that subscribe button. I, if I said that already, okay, I don't know. I, let, let me go. All right, guys.